I know. And last place. I know. On the main table, we're going to be putting the patient on cardiopulmonary bypass to begin to remove the old lungs. But we really have no other therapy for this type of disease where we're combining severe lung disease with some coronary artery disease. And this is the only option for these types of patients. I think it's teamwork. It's a recognition of the need to bring the expertise together to get this done. When they come here, they do believe that they will be transplanted. They do believe that we are going to do a maximum effort to get them out of here. So we are not shying away because things are difficult. These patients have a chronic terminal disease when they come to evaluation, and therefore both their psychological and physical needs are very different than a routine patient, and we have to treat their mind and their soul and their physical body. And so we have put people like this along the way to make this journey seamless. It is a lot of people, but there are a lot of people here that care and make this happen. I was diagnosed with emphysema, and I was late to getting diagnosed, so the only alternative for me was to get a lung transplant if I wanted to continue living. That's a pretty big incentive. A week after my transplant, I hooked up my IV pole with my drain tubes and oxygen and whatever, and walked down the hall and talked to the person who was transplanted after me. And I've been doing that pretty much since that time. I volunteer at the clinic two days a week, I've seen well over 500 lung transplant patients and their families. How are you feeling? I feel much better today. Oh, it makes you feel like, you know, you're important too. And, you know, no matter what, they're going to help you survive this. And, and that's what they tell you from day one. I mean, even Sam that I didn't know until I got here, I feel like he's become one of my best friends because, you know, there are days that you get tired and you think, oh, I can't do this. And he's like, oh, yeah, you can. Because he said it's really worth it. And he's right, it's really worth it, you know. Well, they're scared. You know, everybody's, everybody's scared. It's the unknown, you know. They, they need somebody to talk to. Everybody signs my pen. <laughs> it's just amazing. I mean, there are thousands of people up here that are so involved, and everybody is just so concerned about your, you know, success. It was just remarkable. You were just like, oh, it's a miracle. No, it's just unbelievable. Pull out your hands for me. I want to see your trailer. Everyone is encouraging, even the people down in admitting. You know, if you get somebody that's that's kind and they ask what you're here for, you say, I'm getting a double lung transplant. They're like, oh, I'm so excited for you. And everyone, everyone was like that. Being a patient. It's important to know that if, if I'm having a problem, that they're going to be able to take care of it. Or if I'm feeling great, they're there, they're there for support. I mean, I, I still get cards from the transplant group on, on my, my birthday, my second birthday. That's a wonderful thing to have. That's great. Sounds great. We're a very cohesive group. Everyone's very dedicated and uh, very dedicated to transplant all around. And we have a great team of surgeons medical physicians and all of our coordinators. It really is a, you know, a commitment by the institution. It, it really takes a whole village of people just to kind of you know, shepherd these people. It's like your family. It's like Dr. Badev know all my, my uh, nephew, my son-in-law. They would always bring me here, whatever she always asked me, where are your boys? We just all hug. It's just overwhelming, it really is. Once they are transplanted, they remain our patients for the rest of their life. So in that respect, we become very tight with them. It is about fulfilling wishes, fulfilling a donor family's wishes, a patient's wishes, family's wishes. It's about doing what you can do as much as you can do to change a patient's life. We have a relationship. It's it's a nice thing to come back to here and kind of like family, I guess you could call it, my transplant family. Everyone that I have come in contact has been really special. They have. I just want to give back. 
what was given to me. A new beginning. Second chance, new beginning. Okay, all right, thanks. You know, I, I get no greater joy in life than seeing a patient get out of the hospital. And to see them walk out of the hospital on their own two feet is just, is fantastic. <laughs> you make me so proud. You really do.